now we need to do what we can in this room. If you guys remember, we were doing some scanning in the um, room. We were looking for these symbols. We were doing symbol searching for the charge beam. Well, we gotta do it again for this room. Here's one. Finally, go down to the bottom. You saw those little red things sticking out of the ground? They're covering another. Yep. I knew, I knew that one. Raper Vine, stop showing up! Ruining my good time! Walk out! Ow! Ow. What? Ow. 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 Watch out for that weed. Don't step in it because it will hurt you. Yeah. That's a venom weed. There's a greenish variety that doesn't hurt you. It just slows you down. Thankfully. This one will slow this you down. This one will hurt you. Yes. So watch out for the venom weed. Just shoot. Nine times out of ten, that will be the one that you miss. Yes. There's actually another one I usually miss, actually. Because <laughs> it's part of the way up, and I don't really think to look there on my way. I think it's the third one yeah, I usually miss. I think it's the third, yeah. Alright. Oh, War Warwalk's nest. Fuck you. Always take those out. Take those out. You're very you thankful are. if you do. You'll be glad. Alright. You need the Morph Ball Bomb to go up here. That's why we couldn't do this all before. Yep. So, bomb. Bomb. Alright. I believe the third symbol's around here, actually. Yep, it's... Or a little higher up. It's very well hidden, if I remember correctly. That's the Bruin Warwath nest. Found um, a scan for your creature log, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a blown up Warwasp. So there pretty. it is, right there. Yep. Oh! That is the one I usually miss. <laughs> it's in plain sight! Also Warwath nest. God damn it. Activate. Yeah, that one's a little hard to not activate. You gotta get it before you jump off of that ledge. Where did you- Ow! Yeah, there it is. Go to the nest first. Now we can take care of them while we're coming back. I got missiles now. Oh, it helped! Lovely! Alright, shoot that venom weed and go to the- Oh, you didn't blow it up. Oh, Apparently- did. I guess it hit a war wasp instead. Whatever, now it's gone. Or it hit the tree. Yeah. Alright, go through. Quickly. The venom weed will regenerate, so make your move fast. Yeah. They're annoying as hell. <laughs> All right. Then the last one should be at the top of the tree, but we're not there yet. Should be pretty close to here. I believe it's somewhere around this area. Yep. Right. <coughs> uh, Maybe a little lower. Maybe it's like that platform down there. I know it's around... It's somewhat towards the top. Not exactly up at the It's top. not at the top, specifically. I think I'll go a little bit lower. Yeah, so Back on one of these platforms down here. I think it's around here. It's on the tree, I think. Yeah, it's on the tree. There it is. There it is. God That's damn a war it. wasp. Son of a bitch! Oh, no, that was the real war wasp. Uh, that was the war wasp. Well, it's a, it's a, what the fuck it? Maybe it is at the top. God this, damn it! This is the one that I usually miss, I think. I just did this earlier today and I forget where it is. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> I literally did this earlier today, and I forgot where it is. Huh, never seen that before. Okay, nice tree limbs. Not go to the top, it might actually be there. God damn it. Every time, second guess your... See, this is somewhat, somewhat makes the scanning a little annoying. It can get very irritating to freaking... Ugh. I'm pretty sure it's right up here. There, there it is. is! It was at the top, son of a bitch. Oh, man. Let's uh, trust your first instinct. You're usually just right. God damn it. I know. God damn it. I, I, I always second guess now, this myself. Is what, this is what you were talking about. Check this out. Structural weakness uh, detected throughout sandstone wall. If you actually pause and check out your power-ups, you can actually see what they are useful for. It would be the two button to okay. pause, by the way. So go to, let's say... Go to Morph Ball. Go to Morph Ball Bomb. You look at it, you get a description here. You can tell you tell what it good. does. Sam's his notes. Morphal log can be used to break things. And um, what it's useful against. Sandstone and or telluric alloy. So if you scan a thing and see if it's made of a certain substance that's highlighted. So this is don't work, but let's use a bomb. Yep. You need weapons to break specific specific substances. Yep. And thank you to begin. That's thank why they're you. all useful. Alright, we're just about there. <clears throat> and after this... Actually, I was going to say we might take a break after this, but I think we'll take a break after we reach that area. 
Yeah, do some power up hunting first before we go there, of course. Yeah. It's do some power up hunting there. It's after this boss, I'd say, you should do your first bit of power up hunting. Yeah. Because I think, like, because essentially you'll pretty much be... Well, I'd say back to where you started, but that's not entirely true because there's still one thing yep. I'm missing. All right. But... Here we go. This is our third real major boss. Yeah. Well, first major boss, our yeah. third boss. Yeah. I consider it first major boss. Yeah. So, Flagra! It has these freaking things that shoot light on it, and then it grows an evil insect creature. Flagra. Bitch. There is a glitch to actually make it so that you can actually destroy this boss in the blink of an eye. Yeah. But I'm not very good at it, so I'm not going to bother with it. Ow. And remember, you can shoot Flogger to stun it, but you can't actually hurt it. You got to shoot it in the face, though. However, what you want to do is you can shoot the things that are giving it sunlight. Yep. You don't have to stun it to do this, but stunning it may be easier if you'd rather it not try to attack you at all. Yeah, if you don't want to be asked. And also, because here's the thing. It can also bring back the mirrors. It can. But it's so, only one, so it's not a problem right now. But just use a charge beam on the mirror. You don't have to do it from behind it. You can just shoot it. You should be fine. Although, watch out for those vines in your way. You have to shoot the little thing under it. Sorry, that's what I meant. No, my light stars! And now you can make your way to more ball bomb slots. Yep. So, more ball slot, uh, slots open. Go in, bomb it. Do it quickly, because Flogger will get up if you don't. Yep. No, it's burning me alive. I'm done for. I'm melting, melting. You would think. <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bitch, now you got two. You can hit him with a charge beam from anywhere as long as you hit the lower section. But like Koji said, you have to do a charge beam at least. Or missile. I missiles guess. work too, I think. Yep. Missiles yep. also work. Yep. So use missiles as well. But it'll flip the mirror. But it'll back flip up. the mirror in a blink of an eye. So yeah. That's why you may want to stun it. I mean, stunning it is encouraged. I and it's probably recommended. Yeah. I've gotten to the point. I just freaking blast the mirrors and only mess with flog rope. So if you can go fast enough, you don't have to worry about it. But still, it's easier to be a stunner for a bit. Remember, charge beam or missile. Well, I was able to do it without charge beam, but... Well, yeah, you use the missile, that's why. Shoot it. Nah. Yeah, you don't have to shoot the back, you just have to shoot it in general. Alright, okay. now get more ball and wait for your chance. Okay. As long as it's opening, go in, bomb it up. Bomb number two. No! <coughs> not Light again. it up! No! Why you've really done it now! I'm melting! Dang, you asshole! No! <laughs> ooh, ooh. I thought you seriously are an asshole. Aren't I such a troll? Being of which, I'm gonna crush you with my sickle. <laughs> Ow! Fuck you! Take that! That's, that's a young player. Huh? Ow! Fuck you! Almost. Oh, yeah? Yeah, don't get too close to those tentacles, by the way, because they can hit you. Yeah, they can hit you. I've already experienced that. Hard way. He's got to aim quick. Yeah, see, if you just go fast enough, you don't have to worry about yeah. worry about the enemy at all. All right, let's go in quickly. The further along this fight goes, the quicker Flogger will get up after being knocked down. So make sure you're quick. Yep. But it's still not terribly hard. No! Three times the charm! I can't believe I'm gonna do it three times! No! Well, it's obvious who's gonna come to this. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, you gotta kill me four times! I'm invincible! <laughs> Alright, so. So now you gotta get rid of all four mirrors. Just watch out for that ivy wall bullshit it does. Yeah, that also does damage. The to four the mirror one can be a little challenging. You gotta actually move around and be able to hit all of them. All right, now find the hole quickly. I see it. It's at the other Careful. side. Careful, if you're not fast enough, you can also block your way. All right, you should have enough time. Thanks, good. And 
You're done. No! Okay, I... okay, you really did it! No! 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 Look at what you've done! Oh, uh, look, plant life is back! Oh! Uh, so there you go, no more toxic water. Yep, this freak was the source of the toxic water. Yep, so now this area is a lot easier to traverse through in general. Thank God. Oh. And well, here's a reward just sitting beside. And this. Huh. What is it, you may ask? Screw attack! No, nope. it's a very soon. <laughs> yeah. But, you're gonna want this anyway. You're gonna need this. Yep. You'll have your damage and also have an additional effect. Yep. Now, if you remember that magma area that I was hinting at. Yep. Well, well um. Oh, by the way, this cutscene's unskippable. <laughs> I know. But I wasn't going to anyway. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's all I mentioned it. God damn, what's this Sailor Moon? Just transform already! <sighs> oh! There it is. The Varia Fusion Suit. <sighs> Very nifty. We'll say the color does look So, good. your damage is now halved, and now you have the ability to. Go to areas of extreme heat. Yep, or cold. Yes. Although that doesn't usually end up being an issue for an obvious reason. Yeah. Because you need to get through the area of heat to get to the area of coal anyway. Yep. <laughs> also, we can go in this water now. Not like there's anything in here to get. Yeah. And we're so slow and... Gah. Eh, we'll deal with that later. Maybe we'll be able to swim one of these days. <laughs> Swimming. Sounds too convenient. I know. <laughs> so in a Metroid game, how would that work? Well, they kind of did it in two. Yeah, kind of. Only a little bit, though. Yeah. Prime 3 didn't have any water, I just realized. Yeah, they didn't. Neat. Oh, there's your best energy source, the Golden Ball. The Golden Ball. Refills one whole energy tank. And they gave you two free ones right there, in case you took a shitload of damage. It's like they knew. Yeah. Oh, watch out. Can't kill that right now. It deflects everything you have. Also, don't do charge beam, because it'll chase you. Yep. Don't charge beam that thing for the little guy. Yeah, that thing's not fun. Also. Geronimo! Whee! Oh, God. What the hell is this track? Oh, God! Damn it! And there's multiple of them. Yeah. We can't do anything in here anyway. Let's just get the hell out. Okay. Now, the way to go forward would be to go through here, but there's so many powers we can get right now, so why would we go down there? So, first things. Magmore. Magmore Caverns North, granted. Yep. So we'll go there a bit later. Yeah, we'll go here But for later. now, let's go to the door behind you. Let's get back. You'll come back through here anyway. I suggest you go the other way. Because you'll end up coming back to this room through here, so. Yeah. Go that way. Head this way? Yep. Morph ball. So, yep, now it's time for us to do the first bit of major power up hunting. There we go. What are you stuck? Oh, I'm stuck on you, that's why. I was gonna say, that seemed weak. God damn it. Well, at least it doesn't try to crush me, that's good. I finally got in here. Great, jump up just to freaking go to morph ball again. Thanks, environment. Ah, uh, should have listened to Al Gore. Global warming makes my jumps difficult. Uh, the global warming warming hit hard in this area. <laughs> yeah, I guess that was the meteor's fault. Hmm. Ooh, more script. The future is a vague thing, ever changing. You can never chose a game you really foresee the future. The future. For we can never hope to control what is yet to occur. Oh, of course. We instead of like triangles, all of a sudden. Oh, Back God. An example of this and... Water dries up. Nothing we can do stops the tragedy, but... You know this? A life's uncertain flow of water. Power of war. Our will is strong and enduring. The will of the Chosen will live on. We'll never run dry, even though all of us are dead. Yes. Where our willpower survives. That's actually somewhat foreshadowing for later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy, that'll be fun. Anyway, you can see there's a missile expansion in there. How, how do we did get, you get it? it, you ask? I'm trying to remember how we get this out. Ah. Metal crates seem to block there. Yeah, there's, there's something. Shit. There's Look something around. here. There's one wall you haven't looked at yet. Hey! 
Don't these look like something? Hmm. There are three locking mechanisms, and some of them are blocked by Taloric Alloy. And well, this, this is your this best. This is where you were testing. Yep. And by that I mean... It's time for you to learn a special technique. Yep. Because that hole's really freaking high. How do you get up there? Yeah. Well. With the ancient art of bomb jumping. Yes. You can get in there. And with spring jump, it's made even easier. Yep. In the game, you were here to do the double bomb jump. Which is very difficult to do. You basically gotta plant a bomb. Before it blows up, plant another one. Then at the height of that first bomb jump, plant the third one. Yep. You do that, you can do it. Do that double bomb jump. And right now we got 20 missiles. Although we will need something like that for a couple areas, even in the trilogy version. There's reasons for that, though. Yep. Oh, look, monsters. Good to kill. Now I'll just say this. For love of God, we'll go out of the room. For love of God, don't miss the power up. It's literally right in front of you. I'll try. <laughs> oh! Whoa! <laughs> Well, you can dodge it, so make sure you run in the center of the fucking room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go, we got three energy tanks. <laughs> now we can go back for a lot of missile expansions if you want. Eh, let's go. Alright. Might as well. I we can go back to your more. ship and all that shit. I won't go back that way yet. That's back to Magmore Caverns. We'll go there last. Yeah. That's the way to the actual plot. So. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> I wouldn't go up there yet, either, because there's only, like, one or two missile expansions we get that way. I'd rather save them for later. So we go back, right? Yeah. Go back to your ship. There's, like, two or three missile Is it that way? Yes. Okay. Oh, you know, Alpha Beetle's just out in the open! Yep, they now become regular, uh, mooks. Ah, let you know how strong you become. It's a test. Now you have a charge beam and more missiles. This is child's play. Yep. Just remember, he has to be close enough to charge at you. This is a dick. Also, make sure that, you know... Yeah, have your rifle on them. So I say, if you don't like having the free aim thing with the pointer, you can always go to the options and turn it off. If you, if you want to play by Prime 1 rules, where you lock on, that's where it shoots automatically. Ah, oh, you got it. Another charge beam shot should do it. There you go. See? Charge beam's more powerful than your missile. Yep. So, also, I believe that drops a gold energy ball if you need one. Yeah. Like yes. so. Yes. All right, let's go back to the ship. There's two or three missile expands, I believe, you can get this way. Yep. Also, there's an alternate entrance to Magmore Caverns. If actually, you could prefer if you wanted to go that way instead of go through Magmore Caverns, you could do that. There's a missile expansion on the way there. If I'm correct. Is there? Yes. Right. I don't know what way through Magmore Caverns you want to do, but it's whatever. Yeah. So. This would be, going to this route would be the less proper way, but it is faster, technically. And the more rewarding, I guess you could say. Because, I mean, I there's mean, not really much else we can go back for unless we want to go back. We can go back through the main way, like but said, we can still get some. Like, like I said, like, expansions. going the path back to the main entrance to Magmore Caverns, there's like two or three missile expansions we can get that way. That's why I usually save that for last. Yeah. We so we go back to Magmore Caverns anyway, may as well go the main way. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll go back the main way, because I skipped like a couple of expansions anyway. So yeah. We'll go back that way. Ow! Meanwhile... Alright, so there are... Actually, it might just be two missile expansions we can get here. One is towards the entrance to the Magmore Caverns. That's on this end, anyway. Which is all the way up all these cliffs and through some doors and all the way down to the bottom of a shaft. So... It's a big, it's a big hole to go through. Yeah, so is it up this way, or...? Yes. Okay. And I can see a path I wish I could go down! First first. By the way, that's a Gamer! The gray ones are Zoomers. You can kill them normally. The Gamers need a missile to be killed. Yep. Although certain charge beams can kill them, too. Just not the one you have. Yeah. You'll see what I mean later. Hee <laughs> hee. Ooh! Shoot the sack of bubble. I usually use a charge shot. It burns them alive for you! <laughs> I love that. Oh, so much fun. Nature's a wonderful thing. I know. Oh. Even though I have so many allergies and I'm sick because of it. <laughs> nature's wonderful. Just keep it away from me. <laughs> I like watching nature. 
But that thing comes near my fucking house. Ugh. <clears throat> I'll burn into the ground. I enjoy the long distance relationship you and me share, nature. Just don't come anywhere near me. Yes, please. I want to keep it a long distance relationship. It makes me happier. I want to keep it a long distance relationship for a reason. <laughs> You'll kill me! And I'll kill you. Yeah. And I'll die trying. Yes. Like Probably. Watch out, there's a bunch of beetles down there. But it's down there if I remember correctly, right? It's actually in the next room. How about there's a little door in there. Hi! One of us! One of One of us! Be one of us! Don't kill Dude, you <laughs> They just wander into their death. It's in the next room. I know. I wanna you go would think, You would think that there'd be something in the holes for that. Yeah, it would at least like something that'll wash you up, maybe. Alright, go to the morph ball, go under the little bridge there into the into the mist. Right, so Ow, Ow god damn it, get out of my way! Thank you. <laughs> An interesting way to kill them, but a fun one. This all expansion hidden in here. Yep. Now we can go back if I correct. Yeah, it's hell out. Down there is the entrance to Magmore Caverns. Which we don't need to take yet. Yeah. Let's go back to our ship. Yep. Plus, now, there might be some plot you might want to go over as well for going back. Yep. I remember my replay in the game. I saved it for the very last thing I did. <laughs> I went through the whole game. It's like, oh, hey, I got the first one of these now. Oh, right, we did it all. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, jumping through this can be somewhat of a bitch. I guess if you take your time. I kind of hate getting through here, though. Because yeah. it, can, it can fucking gimp your jump. Yeah. It's a weird area to get through. Ugh. The endeavor isn't getting down, it's getting back out. Yeah. I definitely would say it's advised. If you're your first time going through the game, I wouldn't say go through Madmore Caverns this way. Because you have a bit more of an endurance to go through. Yeah. Well, more like it's a more difficult environment. The enemies aren't as difficult, and there are less power-ups on the way. Yeah. It's not like you take damage when you fall or anything like that, so it's not like the worst thing. Yeah, there's just no more, fall damage. You just... It's just more annoying if you screw up. God it's... damn it, jump fucking pawn, god damn it. Okay. <laughs> well, fortunately, I didn't fall that far. Just yeah. To... Yeah, the jumps can be somewhat of a bitch. They, they test your ability to move. Okay, so... Just get a little further Where along. Where? There we go. <clears throat> There we go. Yeah, it was that freaking puddle. Shoot the plant, shoot the kegs above the flower. Yes. Oh, now he evaporated. <laughs> First time he's just like slowly. He's like, oh, I'm burning now. It's like, ow! <laughs> First one just burned. That one just like nuclear reacted. Getting rid of the evidence. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Ah. All right then. I don't need to fight you, Beatles. But, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. Why would you hurt my friends? Because I hate you. Because you're on my ah. way. I don't like the Beatles. Wow, that's mean. That's a little harsh, what you think? 